That is the reason that I'm on YouTube and the reason this channel exists. So for me to see my subscriber count hit 1,000 is, is personally, um, it's a little overwhelming. When you start a YouTube channel, you get all sorts of metrics. They provide you with so much information. There's like hundreds of things that you can, you can track and compare and see how you're performing. And, and there's all sorts of information, but there's really only one metric for me personally that's really important. And to understand why that metric is super important and why it's the only one really that matters to me, I think it's important to understand why I'm here. When I first started backpacking in 2018, I looked to YouTube as a resource uh, and I, I really searched pretty hard for something that could help me figure out where to start, how to get going and, and whatnot. And realistically at the time, YouTube and backpacking was really focused on through hiking. There wasn't really anybody out there doing weekend hikes and things like that. Um, my resources were either through hiking, um, and that was through like Dixie and Darwin and things like that, uh, or they were in the, the weekend backpacking space with guys like the Shill Brothers and Shug and Syntax. Uh, so those guys were all out east. There was, there was nothing in the Rocky Mountains that kind of helped me as a resource to get started. And guys like Justin and Maddie and Kane were just getting started. They didn't, I, you couldn't even find them on a search. Like their first videos were being published at that time. So at the time I thought about starting a YouTube channel for that space and I decided against it because I, di I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't feel like I had anything to give, anything to offer. So I decided not to move with that. And I think that was a good decision for me because it gave me three or four years to learn what I was doing while there were guys coming into that space. Again, Justin, Maddie, and Kane, and stuff like that. Um, even My Life Outdoors was just getting started, like posting their first video. So it was a, I think it was a good decision for me not to join the space at that time. And after three or four years uh, in the summer of 2022, um, or 2022, whatever number you want to call it. After three or four years of figuring it out, trying new things, learning on my own, going with friends and, and bringing people with me and, and do, doing a whole bunch of stuff that way, I, I kind of learned to make myself sufficient um, for weekend trips and things like that. And at that time, uh, Maddie Outdoors had a subscriber's trip. Uh, it, it was pretty cool. I think it was July of 2022 and he put out this thing and said, Hey, everybody, we're going to have a subscribers trip. Email me, then we'll get the location sorted out and all this stuff. And it turned out that there were fires in the area and we had to change the location last minute, which meant there was a much smaller group that I'd actually ended up attending than he had originally thought which for me worked out really well because i was picking his brain and we we got a chance to chat and kind of connect and coming out of that he encouraged me to just start like what's the worst that can happen on a youtube channel right you could fail and nobody could watch it and that's the worst that could happen so uh so i did it that fall i put out two videos um they were both just trips i was doing one night trips common places no real goal, no real intention. I think both those videos still to this day have a combined total of like 600 views. Like there's there's nothing about them that's special or unique um, because they had no intention, no purpose. And, and I spent that winter um, coming into 2023 really evaluating if I was gonna do a YouTube channel, what would it be for? Why would it exist? And I, I, I pared it down to really making it the resource that I wish existed for me when I started backpacking. I wanted to give people three real core things. Um, the first was to know what to do, right? Some of the basic fundamentals of, of what backpacking is, what the equipment looks like, what, what things you need to know uh, in order to get out there safely and responsibly. So that's with, with skills, with knowledge, with equipment, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the second thing was to know how to make yourself um, safer, to make yourself more, 
to make your trips more enjoyable, things like that, where you could, you could get an idea of things you could do while you're out there that would change your experience in some way and make it more unique to you and make it more enjoyable for yourself. And the, the last thing I wanted to do specifically, and this really tailors my audience down <laughs> intentionally to Southern Alberta, was to give people who were not sure where to go an idea of where they could go and what to expect when they got there. So kind of like the lay of the land, how the trail looks, what to expect for water, what to expect for kind of the, the landscape and the effort level that you'll have to put out. Um, because that was for me, that was a real barrier to, to entry for me when I first started thinking about it was, I don't even know where to look, right? I don't have any idea of what equipment works for my area. I don't have any idea of how to use that equipment. I don't have any knowledge of the, the fundamentals of what I need to know. And I don't know where or what to expect when I get there. So I wanted to clear those barriers for people and make it a little more accessible. So with that in mind, this channel exists really as a support or as a help to a really specific group of people. And that's new inexperienced backpackers looking to get into it and get experience in Southern Alberta. Now that's not a big market. That's not people that are like, I'm not gonna break the world's records for subscribers and views with those kind of approaches. And that's not the point. I am not here to make money. I'm not here to get brand deals. I'm not here to get sponsors. I'm literally here to make my passion more accessible to more people in my area. And that's really what it comes down to as to why subscribers is the most important metric for me on this channel. The subscriber for me, so you as a subscriber for me, represent some sort of validation that I'm being helpful. There is no other feedback mechanism that exists in all the metrics or in all the, the numbers that YouTube gives you that says, I am reaching my goal of helping people get into this. The subscriber count and the, the ability for people to leave comments and, and the feedback that I get from you guys really is the only reason I'm here. I am specifically here to be helpful and to get you out backpacking. So when I get comments from people like, hey, I went to that trail and I took my grandkids there, or I, I went there and it, it was my first backpacking trip, thank you for letting me know about that trail. Or I got a, an email or a Facebook message from someone just the other day saying, hey, I'm looking at these two trails, my, my kids are this age, I'm looking to start backpacking with them and I don't know what to do. Do you have any recommendations? Th those are the reasons that I do this, right? That is the reason that I'm on YouTube and the reason this channel exists. So for me to see my subscriber count hit 1000 is, is personally, um, it's a little overwhelming. I, I'm sort of, a, aware of the fact that that means that I have been helpful in some way or another to at least a thousand people um, and if I can continue to be helpful to any number more uh, yeah I think it's an incredibly powerful thing so if you are one of the subscribers that have jumped in here and become a part of this channel um, Thank you so much for being here. Um, I've enjoyed our interaction so far. I'm looking forward to, to more um, and hopefully setting up some times to actually meet and get people out in person and do some things like that. Um, if, you, if you're not a subscriber and if the reasons I exist here don't speak to you, then please don't subscribe. It's not valuable to you. Um, I'm not here asking for subscribers. I'm here uh, asking to be of assistance and to provide some value to you. So if that's the case, I'd love to have you on board. Um, and thank you. Thank you so much for being here.